When last we spoke, you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt, in hopes of finding servants of Algernon and Gerene. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Antam are working for Algernon and Gilanane. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Antam want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. And they're using that power to hurt a lot of people. The Antam and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Minrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The blight seems to be the gods' favorite tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Algernon would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Algernon and Gilanane planned for this world, then. Corruption and Blighted Slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the Veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. We thought you were just bringing the Veil down to destroy everything. If we'd known... Thousands would still have perished. Varric would never have agreed to such a plan. Why would you agree to it? The world is broken because of my past choices. It falls to me to heal it, even if that healing comes with a cost. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been, a man, all too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I've got enough problems right now as it is. That's one for future Rook to deal with. Pragmatism. You will focus on the present, knowing that someday you will face the consequences of your choices. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Lighthouse Alluvian? Yes. We found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganon's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Solas thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. He's right, about the dragon hunter at least. Rook, when I was with the Inquisition, I saw some terrible things. But what happened to Treviso? I mean, so much death. Lucanus stayed behind. He said he'll be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We hurt it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathas, that's for sure. <sighs> Don't remind me. Fewer people injured and we wouldn't have to worry about it coming back. 
We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long? Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? He's been right about a lot of things. He knows how Elganon and Gilanane work. We need him. As long as you're sure. So a Fade expert and a Dragon Hunter. I'll ask around about Dragon Hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the Lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> See, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. Okay, Bolara, what's your lead on getting us a uh, Fade expert for the team? Good evening. Greetings. Rook! So, we need a fate expert. I've been writing to a senior mage who fits the part. But right now, he's on an expedition, so I reached out to his colleagues to find him. This is Lady Myrna and Vorgoth. They're necromancers. Mornwatch ones, I mean. Your friend's request for a fate expert was urgent. How darksome are things outside Navarra? We've seen terrible magic. Old magic. It'll get worse unless we step up. I see. Belara's correspondent is Professor Emrek Volkarin, a Fade expert and powerful psychogoth. You will need him. Where can I find him? The Professor is currently delving the shrouded halls in the Grand Necropolis. We will grant you passage to look for him. Where the dead. Lately they grow... Restless. So I put the word out for dragon hunters, and I've heard back about someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh from a group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. Thanks for finding a contact. There can't be that many professional dragon hunters around. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. Disturbing him. He is a senior necromancer. I, I don't. Oh, oh. Our last guests were stuck for hours. Poor souls. Oh. <sighs> Professor Emmerich Volkaren of the Morn Watch. Hello, Professor. Uh, we've never met, well, in person, but I I I've been writing to you. Bellara, my dear girl, what a pleasure. Surely you didn't come all this way just to see me. Um, actually, we did. You see, we need a Fade expert. <clears throat> I'm Rook. Charmed. 
I didn't expect such a warm welcome. Considering. Please, don't be put off. The workforce is perfectly harmless. I'd be pleased to continue our conversation after I tend to some small business here. I must investigate. Would you two mind accompanying me further into the shrouded halls? Toward that screaming. Something's gone awry in this part of the necropolis, Rook. The dead stir more easily than they should. should be under the protection of the bell. Is that a despair demon? Fascinating, isn't it? They shouldn't be able to breach the shrouded hall's doors. Take your word for it. Castle Rook, we singled you out. Where'd everyone go? Vital we discover why that spirit manifested here. Lead the way, Professor. Someone's barred the door and chained the sunken star. There's undead here. We may need to defend ourselves depending on their condition. Haven't fought undead in a while. Oh, no reaching yeah. these. They're mindless. What does that mean? I'm afraid sometimes the weaker dead work themselves into frenzies. Poor things. <laughs> I must free that bell. Need some help? Thank you. The star, the bell, can banish these despair spirits if we unchain it. We'll need a wisp to unseal the doors leading out. Could you please find one and bring it here? Okay. How? Give your greetings and the wisp will follow. are the simplest of spirits, but quite helpful. Bring the wisp here, and we can unseal the doors. Good 
Doors open. Where to now? This should lead us to the upper chambers, where we can free the bell. There's someone I'd like to consult with on the way. I hope we can help here, Professor. You already have, Pilara. And it's just Emmerich. Please. Great, Professor. I assume your visit has to do with recent upheavals we've sensed in the face. Oh, just a little. <laughs> Magic. It, it, it drains everything around it. Echoes of the despair spirits. Misery devouring itself. We should keep our distance. If provoked, these manifestations will shatter. Strange. This door shouldn't be here. Shouldn't it? The necropolis rearranges itself every so often. This is lock two. I didn't see any wisps around. Then I shall call for aid.
need a wisp. They've answered. We'll need to guide the wisps who've just arrived to the door. Those wisps really came just because you asked. They care for us, Rook. Our ever loyal friends amongst the dead. Is our second wisp. These are way different than some of the wisps in Arlathan. I should like to meet some one day. I don't know, Professor. Your wisps seem less, uh, dangerous. Is the last wisp. Good. Let's return to the door. Well done. Past these chambers, we'll find some assistance with reaching the bell. Despair is far more pervasive than I thought. We must stop who's ever drawing these spirits here, Rook. You think a person's behind all the despair demons? Oh, yes. Mortals are their prime attraction. I spy trouble ahead. How about them? How do we get rid of all these despair demons? Their source is near the bell you saw earlier. Ringing it will banish them, but we must find who lured them there in the first place. Tell me, Rook, where are you from? 
I spend most of my life in Antifa. Am I correct in guessing you're one of the crows? At your service. You must tell me about your journeys once we're above ground. Here we are. This is where we'll learn who summoned these despair spirits. But how? You must open yourself to possibilities while in the necropolis. Would you mind lighting those braziers, Rook? This should unseal our final pass to the bell. It's best we unchain it quickly. What to do exactly? The sunken star will drive away despair. Any malicious spirit that hears the tolling of the bell will be banished to the fame. Oh, that'd be helpful in Arlathan, but I bet it only works here, doesn't it? Quite correct. The bell would be inert outside the necropolis. Still, I bet the principles could be replicated. the body and we'll begin. By seal and flame, who brought despair in our midst? Despair, who brought it here? The Venatori. Uh, of course. This way, please. What did you just do? The colloquial term is corpse whispering, a gift that manifested with my magic. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Honestly, I've no idea how the other Watchers navigate the necropolis without it. Shh. I think I hear someone. This map is useless. We wasted three slaves in those traps. If that hand of glory burns down, so don't dodge him. We found those Venatori. They have no place in these halls. <laughs> <laughs> 
after gold artifacts raw magic their first envoys were obsessed with gathering power for some new masters ah i'll fill you in on them later Despair demon? That's the last of them. I see someone by the crates. I don't think they're Vanatori. Tori bring you here. They said... They said I'd spilled the wine too many times. That I'd be a better sacrifice than slave. You are in Navarra, sir. There are no slaves on our soil. Please remain here. After we've seen to the rest of the Venatori, I'll send for someone to escort you above. Oh, all, all right. Those Venatori dragged that man down here just to die. The Watchers will shelter him. We'll inquire if he has any family in Minrathus. As for the Venatori, what remains of them will be put to work. Star can help us if we break the Venatori's chains. Right.
Be ready. The ritual to wake the bell will draw despair's attention. And any more Venatori? I'll need you to keep them occupied while I work. Those despair demons are just gone. 
Pretty impressive. Thank you. But come, let's ensure these cultists didn't leave anything dangerous behind. I'll ask our attendants to gather their bodies later, of course. And this is... a severed hand. It can't be. A hand of glory? The Venatori should never have this. I must find out where it came from. Let me know when you'd like to return to the chambers above. Let me take one last look around. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. You can tell me why you've sought out a Fade expert on the way? I know it's a lot, but I swear we've seen the Blighted Elven Gods ourselves. It would explain recent Oniric disruptions. At the least, the implications of what Rooks witnessed are... Ah, thank you, Manfred. Well, hi, and... Thanks. <laughs> you spoke of danger to the Fade. The Elven Gods plan to tear it wide open to get to the Blight. And they've already messed with it. Demons, tears in reality. Our team needs a Fade expert. Many Watchers never depart Navara. But with events so dire... I... I'd be delighted to assist. It has been many years since you left us. Well, yes, but elven gods, ancient magics, I couldn't bear miss this. Besides, I've spent my life exploring the Fade and speaking to spirits. If Rook needs an expert, none are better qualified than I. You're good in a fight. We went through a lot of demons. I've faced worse in the Necropolis. Welcome aboard. Wonderful! I'll gather my things. Come, Manfred. The Grand Necropolis was at peace again, and Emmerich was off to a new adventure. But in Navarra, nothing stays down for long. The Venatori had unearthed something no one should have, and delivered it to the worst possible person. Emric's journey would soon bring him face to face with the gloaming lantern. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rook. I'm very much hoping you're Tosh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. 
The Lords want to hit a cave on the coastal cliffs. Big Vincimer makes her lair there. We get her out, the Lords get in, we go home and get drunk. Might be more on Tom. <laughs> Don't get in my way. I've got a good feeling about her. So, what's the plan exactly? We need to lure the Vincimer out of her lair. I set bait, she comes out to eat. My partners loot the lair while she's out here. We'll find the bait on the beach. You said the dragon we're dealing with was a Vincima. Yeah, blue with a yellow belly. Breathes lightning. Lightning? Shoot, I forgot my lucky boots if I'd known. We're not fighting her. Lords just want the horde in her lair. On Tom ahead. Be ready. They go hard. Watch yourself. They have Gatlock cannons. Ranged! So, you've got no problem fighting other Canari. I'm from Mervain. Not like I follow the Kune. You've got the arm ropes. Sure. I wear a lot of stuff. You don't get to tell me who I am. Doesn't matter anyway. The Anton don't follow the Kune either. Not anymore. So, why did you want to join up with us, Tosh? I don't. I thought you wanted us here to help you. No. We're not fighting the dragon? No. Vincimers eat big game, usually sea life. They're not hostile unless you do something stupid. Like poke around in its lair? Right. So we lure her out, then the lords go in and grab anything shiny. But you do kill dragons, right? You're a dragon hunter. I kill them when they need killing. This one doesn't. <sighs> Beaches up ahead. Right. You said we'd find bait here? Bait'll find us. Come on. That sounds exciting. Deep stalkers! Do they find us? Oh, so the deep stalkers are the bait? Yep. Oh, that's clever. Quite a few of them. Dragons have big stomachs. <laughs> Nice work. Nice 
Now what? Now I get the fire going and make our dragon dinner. Good. She'll like it. And this potion will put her to sleep for a few hours. But we gotta get her attention. Use the horn up there. Come on, she'll be here soon. So, we held up our end of the bargain? You did okay. So, what do y'all do? Right now, we're trying to take down evil god monsters and their blighted dragons. What? That can't be right. Dragons don't get blighted. They're smart enough to avoid that crap. However it's happening, the gods are using the blight to force dragons to attack people. That's messed up. Somebody needs to stop them. There you go. A task covered. Where are we headed? That old Grey Warden fort. Anton might be there. I want to see what they're doing. If it's anything the Lords of Fortune need to worry about. So she responds to the horn? This time. So not the first time you've done this? Took a while to get her used to it. It sounds like you've got a train. You train a dog. You reach an understanding with a dragon. Vinsomers are clumsy on land. Better in the water. They cut the surface like a knife. They swim? They dive down after prey like a giant bird. Sometimes they stun schools of fish with their lightning. Gulp them all down in a single bite. Very, very close. Letting us know she sees us. Might also be her way of saying thanks for the food. Someone put a lot of work into these fortifications. Why'd they leave? This used to be a big Grey Warden outpost. They left after the Darkspawn stopped coming. Well, there's definitely on Tom here. Let's check inside the fort. I want to see what they're doing. <sighs> Shit. More on Tom. So the Antarm took over the outpost after the Grey Wardens abandoned it? Yeah. Ravane and the Canari were at peace forever. Then the Antarm...
Grapples, nets. The Antom are going after the Vincimer. Shouldn't the dragon be okay against the Antom? Not after I drugged her. Come on. They've been watching. They knew I drug her to make her sleep. Assholes! Watch out. <laughs> Haven't seen us yet. We can run. Hey! I brought her down. She's mine by right. <laughs> Makara. Mara Namra Benari Ebala. Atash Martarost. Asitarala. Kuto. Tarala. Come on.
Ranged incoming. Finish them off. So, you breathe fire. Yeah. Amazing! Can all Kunari breathe fire? Are we supposed to know this? Because I don't remember you mentioning it. We can talk later. Let me know when you're ready. I'll burn the chains off the dragon. Is she gonna be grateful we freed her? Do you think she'd give us a ride? No. She's gonna be pissed. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I know. One dragon flew off, now safe to finish its nap, uninterrupted. Another was about to wake up. The surviving Antam poachers carried news of a fire-breathing Kunari back to their leader. Tosh and the team would soon find themselves being hunted by the Dragon King. Wonderfully done, Tash. While you played with the big scary dragon, we looted the shiny stuff from her cave. So, Rook, Varric's talked about you. I see he wasn't making shit up this time. They call me Isabella, among other things. What did you find in the cave? A lot of dragon shit, gold, some fancy trinkets, and this. How much could you get for something like that? A fair bit of gold if you're lucky. Maybe a war if you're not. But this piece is not for sale. The Lords of Fortune retrieved it at my request. Rook, this is Shathan. She's our expert on Canari artifacts. This piece predates the Steel Age by centuries. It comes from an earlier attempt at settlement. One that left no survivors. You used your fire. What? No. Were you seen by the Antam? You promised you would be careful, Evatosh. You need to be away for a while. It is good you are joining Rook's team. I'm what? We're looking for a good dragon hunter. That would be you? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Contact here said you'd agree to join us. Didn't Shathan... I thought you and your mother had agreed on this. No. Nope. Whoops. Well, you'll work it out. You always do. For gold and glory, Tash. You're welcome back whenever. Rook, pleasure doing business with you. Mother, what did you do? I thought you would enjoy the chance to work with Rook's team. Do you not wish to stop these blighted dragons? Of course I do. I might have decided to join on my own. Maybe after you talk to me. I talked to you about not using your fire in front of the Antam. I will prepare potions for you to take. Would you prefer ginger or lavender? <sighs> the ginger. Hassam Vinek. Rook, you will keep her safe.
Well, it must be nice to have your mother so involved in your life. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the team. Might not be what you wanted, but we could really use the help. I'll get my stuff. Hey. It is. Sorry? Joining your team. It is what I wanted. Glad to hear it. The Antom hate magic. They always talk about how much better Kunari are than everyone else. Now they worship elven gods for power? Hypocrites. But it explains why they pushed so hard into Ravain. With this, Demetta's crossing and the Blighted Dragons, and everything else we're all dealing with, feels like we're at war. A lot of little wars. Didn't take the gods long to attract support from all the worst people in Thedas. They're offering power to anyone who wants it. The Venatori and Antam won't question what it will cost. So how do we fight back then? We don't have an army, but we do have allies. Like the Veil Jumpers. After Demeter's crossing, it's personal for them. The Shadow Dragons, particularly after we help save their city. A debt the Viper will repay soon. Also, Lady Morrigan requested a meeting at the Cobbled Swan in Minrathis. Could she have found some trace of the gods? Probably. Morrigan doesn't visit crowded taverns for fun. I also heard from Grey Wardens out in the Hosberg wetlands. Antoine and Evka. Something strange is happening with the Blight there. I bet it involves the gods. Gilanane has laid low since we hurt her dragon, but the Blight spreads rot wherever the gods go. And no one's better at tracking Blight than Wardens. Morrigan and those Wardens feel like our best leads on finding the gods. Are they really gods? Or just ancient mages? It's not clear. They're gods. In their power and wrath, at least. Lucanis, you're back. I am. Good to have you back. This is Professor Emmerich Volkarin, our Fade expert, and Tash, our dragon hunter. They joined while you were away. Hey. Charmed. Right. Not everyone has met. So, a dragon hunter. Treviso could have used you. What's happening there? Hmm. It's just... People blame you for what happened to Treviso, Rook. But they did not have to make that choice, knowing what the gods are capable of. There was no right call. Still, it changes things. How could it not? But you're back with us. Yes, here to stay. Good to have you back, whatever the circumstances. Everyone needs to be part of this. That's the only way we'll win. After what they did to Treviso, I want these gods to fall. I don't see anyone else with a better chance than you. My blade's yours, until the end. Great. Let's follow up on some leads. I'll let Lady Morrigan know we're ready to meet. I'll send word to Antoine and Evka. They're holed up in a town called Lavendel. Everyone else should rest up. Be ready to move when I call. Never easy, is it, kid? What do you mean? Making the big choices, then living with the consequences. I don't think it ever should be easy. As soon as it gets easy, you're not the right person to make those decisions. It needs to be hard. That's how you know you're taking it seriously. And that's why I recruited you, Rook. You get that. Not everyone does. Anyway, you've got a meeting with Morrigan to attend, and dealing with whatever the Wardens found. All this chatting has taken it out of me. Think I'll rest for a bit. Good work, Rook. You'll find your way through this. I know it.